Hi there, Sensei Victoria Whitfield here from naturalintuition.com and I'm here with Robin. Hi. And we're going to share how her experience was uh, being here for a one week internship which uh, Douglas College of Rutgers University offers. They call it an externship so you get to sample uh, like the feeling of being at a different kind of corporation or business, etc. And I'm a solo entrepreneur, so this is a really interesting and unique perspective for someone to have. So, Raman, uh, why don't you tell uh, everyone, like, what are you studying uh, at Rutgers and why? Okay, so I am a biology major, and um, I love the whole idea about the body, how it works, how it functions. Um, that was something that really interests me. So um, at Rutgers, I just, by taking different classes, I realized that I was really interested in it. So I decided to major in it. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh my goodness. So how, given that you're like studying the body and things like mm -hmm. that at Rutgers, how has your experience been, like, maybe informed or colored by being here at the dojo for a week? Like, what do you feel you learned that could help you? Okay, so being at the dojo has been great. I loved every minute of it. Um, one thing that really could help or really helped me or something that I learned was meditation. Ooh. That was um, something I never knew about, never um, really researched. But coming here with Victoria... Um, she definitely explained that to me and helped me understand what it means to really focus and how by just clearing your mind and your body, you can focus on any task that you want to complete. And um, it could help in any profession. So with biology, you could be a doctor or a nurse or anything that has to do with healthcare. And just focusing and clearing your mind can help you in any, um, any profession. And I didn't even know that. Yay. So yeah, meditation. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Cause uh was it was it our first day? Yeah, our first yeah. day. Our first day. So <laughs> we both came in, we we're kinda like, oh, feeling kinda <laughs> under the weather. And just so for you guys out there, if you're feeling a little bit tired or not so bright and mm -hmm. uh creative, a great way to reset yourself is actually just doing like a ten, 10 minute. minute. Yeah. yeah. 10 minute meditation it doesn't even have to be guided uh what we did is we just listened to a drum like beating for 10 minutes straight it was very monotonous yeah. but like uh i think we both started where were we around like a seven yeah we said seven yeah so we started around on a scale of one to ten how alert and bright um and refreshed do you feel right now we're both kind of at a seven so like uh, you know <laughs> awake but mm, not very well and then we both ended up at a nine yeah uh after just 10 minutes and so we didn't have to eat anything or drink anything or or anything like that it was just simply by taking 10 minutes of meditation to to shift our state so that was really cool what do you feel um was your favorite thing that you learned uh this week like what was like your favorite maybe conversation or insight that we had we've had so many conversations yeah. oh my god you guys so many <laughs> it's been wonderful um there's a lot so pick one well okay <laughs> you can talk about as many as okay. you like okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I really like the um, vortex. I really enjoy that. Um, What's a vortex? I don't know if everyone knows. So vortex, okay, so my definition of it is something that brings you over the top happiness or joy. Or something that you think about or can do that just brings you excitement or makes you happy, like, in an instant. Mm -hmm. So um, I know, like, for me as a college student, um, there's a lot going on, trying to figure out, you know, what exactly I want to do. So that can be stressful and that can lead to like doubts and fears. And um, I know being with Victoria, like she helped me understand the aspect of being open, not necessarily being lost. And when you're open, that helps you to bring um, more positive vibes and it helps you to um, really focus on what you want. And when you're open, it's easier to go into your vortex. So things that make you happy or 
things that put you in your happy place. And with Victoria, I was able to write down eight things that made me happy. So like off the top, anytime I'm feeling, as she likes to say, crabby or <laughs> anything, I would just um, think about those eight things. And I think four of them were something that I didn't even have to pay for, like dancing or music. So that I really enjoyed because I never knew or I never really sat and thought about eight things that made me happy. Um, another thing is contribution. I really like that idea mm -hmm. that where um, your work shouldn't feel like work per se. It should feel like you're contributing something. You're contributing your love or your happiness or you're sharing something with everyone else so they get to feel the joy that you're feeling. And I really like that idea because then you get to see that your career shouldn't be or your life shouldn't be structured around your career but your career should be structured around your life and that was a really important lesson and there's so much like <laughs> I talked about so much but it's all been so insightful and so informative yeah. I loved it, yeah. oh my gosh <laughs> so wow <laughs> um let's see another thing I guess I would ask is um what advice would you give to uh, any other women at Douglas who are thinking of doing the externship program? Like I myself, when I went uh, to Douglas of Rutgers University, uh, I did an externship at the State House down in Trenton, New Jersey, and that was um, it was a little <laughs> boring, but it was enriching still because you get to be like on the job yeah. and really seeing. Uh, what matters in a professional environment and you have to wear your like professional clothes if you I don't wear professional clothes anymore if you want to take a look at what I'm wearing <laughs> Ta -da! yeah I'm, this is mine so I can dress however I feel but <laughs> back then it's like what the button down shirt and the blazer and the slacks and <laughs> Oh my god! Comment below if you're <laughs> suffering from that too. <laughs> I find. But anyway, <laughs> even though it was like, um, it wasn't the funnest experience ever, mm -hmm. it was still powerful uh, for me personally to, to have exposure yeah. to that. And really, it was the division on women, so really doing something that mattered. I had that sense mm -hmm. of contribution. Yeah. Um, we're making pamphlets about um, resources for women who are suffering from domestic violence or in underserved communities, etc. So it was, it was enriching. Um, and I would recommend that. And no offense, oh my God, to the if they're still doing it now, by all means, go for it because it's a really cool experience. You get to go on the tour of the state house yeah. and etc. So I'm just being real. <laughs> but... It, what would you say to someone who was thinking about uh, doing it? Yeah. Definitely apply. I would definitely say apply because even if you had a different experience than maybe I'm having or what Victoria had, it's all a learning lesson. Like everything that you go through happens for a reason or if you're placed somewhere, it's does your place for a reason so it's all a learning lesson maybe she got to learn that's not the type of job that she wanted to do and um, I'm getting to learn more about myself and more about running a business also so you're gonna definitely learn something you're gonna be able to apply um, what you learn to you know your life so definitely apply like learning something definitely will benefit you yes so I would say apply go for it I have had a wonderful experience with Victoria. As you can see, like she's awesome. I've learned so much about marketing, um, branding, businesses, running your own business, what it takes, how to be confident, um, how to really believe in yourself and go for everything. Um, and I think that's something that when I came into, I didn't know much about, especially marketing per se. Um, you really get a different insight on what certain topics are about for example, marketing, because as running your own business, you have to market. And that was something I didn't know anything about. I just knew what people would say about it. So having a real life example goes a long way because now I know so much more about it. I know so much more about branding. So I've just learned a lot over just one week. Yay. So yeah, <laughs> apply, definitely apply. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, oh my goodness. 
So if you're watching this, by all means, please uh, send us some love back. Uh, send Robin love. Keep her in your prayers uh, to the angels. Really send her some good energy <laughs> as she continues along her path to seeing what's, what's the right uh, vocation for her, the way that she expresses herself professionally. And if you want to support Douglas College um, in giving uh, young women opportunities like this to get to see yeah. uh, what it's like in the professional world. And uh, for me, I'm so happy and honored to get to, to mentor and host yeah. and show young women how to be positive professional women. If you want to support them, by all means, check them out online. Give them a call. Uh, I love my alma mater. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the woman that I am because uh, of that incredible tribe, that incredible community there. Um, and also, if you'd like to support the dojo, you can visit us at naturalintuition.com or facebook.com forward slash Sensei Victoria Whitfield to learn more about our healing work here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you soon.